Hey everybody, it's Rob from the Bike Rack here to give you some of our top tips for locking up your bike. Number one, you look at your bike as an investment, so make sure you invest in a good lock. There are all sorts of different locks out there, from little itty bitty guys like this that are easy to carry around, to medium sized cables, to full on U-locks like what's on here. Number two, many locks out there have combos that you can set yourself. Remember this number. If you forget the combo that you set, nobody else is gonna remember it, so you're gonna have to cut that lock off someday. On the same token, if you've got a lock like this that has a key, don't lose the key. If you lose the key and you have no documentation of what the key is, you're gonna have to cut it off as well. Number three, make sure to lock your bike up in a, on a sturdy rack in a very well lit area. The more sunshine, the more people walk around, the less chance there is for somebody to come over there with a hacksaw and start cutting away at your lock. Number four, there are three main components on the bike to lock up. There's the front wheel, the rear wheel, and the frame. As you can see with our demonstration here, this is an ideal scenario. We've got a U-lock around the frame, the rear wheel, and the bike rack, and then an independent cable lock going around the front wheel. This is great because this locks all those three components on the, uh, of the bike onto the rack so that if somebody were trying to take it, they'd have to go through a lot of work to get this bike off of there. Number five, at a very minimum, if you don't have a cable like this, try to lock your rear wheel and your frame to the bike rack. These are the two most expensive parts on the bike to replace. So if somebody were to steal something like that, it's gonna be a pain in the rear to try and order all those good parts in there. Number six, there are little things called seat leashes out there. So if you have a nice expensive saddle or seat post on your bike, you can attach this on there to make it easy or hard for somebody to, to walk by and quickly take off the seat or the seat post. Pretty cool little thing there. And finally, number seven, documentation. Make sure you have photos of your bike, the make, model, year, and the serial number, and also even a sales receipt. If your bike does end up getting stolen, that will make it a lot easier to try and retrieve it. So thanks for watching our tips for locking your bike up. We'll see you next time. Bye.